Hey everyone, it is Lanso90 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Darkest Dungeon. So I uh, took a look at the footage of the last episode. I took that and rewound it back. First I got the beat to make a booty go. And um, it didn't, it just moved one torch onto a pile of other torches. So it didn't actually consume a torch. I was still surprised that we went through so many, but... At least that part seemed fine, so I guess I don't need to mess with the mod. It seems to be working for some stuff. And that's the best we can hope for. So now... Did I get through that without any stress, too? I took a minute to eat here, so I've kind of forgotten exactly what we did. But yeah, I think these guys were ultra successful. Necromander's Apprentice. Stonework. Stonework is not very common. I like to wait for these boss missions because they always have extremely strong buffs or extremely strong items. And I like to wait until there's one that's like really good to lure me in there. A blight skill chance for the Plague Doctor would be pretty good. We could just run this team again too, by the way. Like there's nothing... They're fine. They're good. Increase for range skills is fine. We have Lobber. We have one now, don't we? Yeah. We should probably check the wield out, too. So we've got two level one men at arms. We do want to get a gesture leveled up. And they are good at the wield, if I recall. I think I need to get my spreadsheet. Shouldn't take me too long here to find it. But yeah, I think I need to look at my spreadsheet that I made. Because I don't think this app has, like, all the information that's relevant. I think it just shows you, like, the items, the curio interactions, and some other stuff. Just have to position this in a way where it's not blocking anything. Like, it doesn't give you recommendations on, like, who you should take to what area. Wield. The traits are bleed and debuffs, and also anything that's getting its eldritch humans and beasts. Uh, versus unholy is bad, and doing blight is bad. So I think you take out the plague doctor. I think you take one of these guys. I can't remember which one was good. You get into warrants. The other one had the special ability though. The ignore stealth. Sure. Russell Dixon in. Um, keep the Hellion. She can actually bleed things. I don't know if we want to grab a bleed attack. We didn't use Breakthrough at all last time. So I think maybe you grab if it bleeds. Take away Breakthrough. We still just have one Vestal. Yeah. They're very light on healers. I don't, the Antiquarian isn't really a healer. We don't have to have healers. It's just nice. Who else would we put in the back, though? You're more of a blighter. You don't do tons of blight, but you do get bonuses for blights. Oh yeah, you have two bad skills, too. She does blights. Almost might take double jester. That'd be kind of silly. I don't really want to over-level some of these characters, but I think they're going to have to. You got like lots of slot two and three people, but not much slot one and slot four. It's fine. I guess we'll just take this party. Let's uh, go back though and check their stuff. So you, we wanted 
if it bleeds. Make sure I oh, it's actually just getting a buff. Iron Swan. We could hack. Might as well take your buff level up. Wine. Definitely level up your crush. Uh, and then we gotta decide like what we're gonna take. Man at Arms just has so many good abilities. Like these are the two that I don't care about the most. Protect is great, retribution is great, command and bolster are great. I guess you can just go for like a defender build. That's not too bad. The dodge ability is really strong, but that's okay. The healer has already been leveled up. Okay. I don't care which position you like. Fear of Eldritch is a little bit bad in this zone, but that's okay. Alright. Let's uh, equip all trinkets. Don't have that many to begin with. Want someone to resist stuns? I guess it would be her. You don't have range skills. You're the only one really with uh, range skills. And then you might as well take this. This will also offset your soft. Then one of our the new characters should probably get the less stress. Or possibly him, because he can... He's going to be defending people. I don't know if we have a quick way to... If he's defending people, he's going to take the stress for them. So we'll go to the wield. Vision. Right. So, let's take a look at the app. Companion, wield, short. Sure, I believe you, game. I think you're being a little. Like this app seems a little overzealous. It says 14 food, I'm gonna bring 8. It says 3 shovels, and there is more obstacles in the wield. So I will accept that I might need 3 shovels. Anti-Venom. I don't think we really need herbs. Herbs are holy water. Yeah, not really. Don't need either of those. Bringing a skeleton key is always useful. Torches. Me up with eight. That ought to be good enough, I think. Alright. We don't have a wide enough selection of units yet. So we're going to kind of be taking subpar teams out. Worked pretty well last round, actually, though. But I think we got lucky with the combat. The soil, all good life from these groves. in a room of apples, means we need to go everywhere. Evil. Well, there's already a wall up here, so I don't think I want to use my shovel on that grave. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. Should have brought up the brightness. I was thinking about it. Oh, I didn't customize your abilities. And do it out of combat, but that's okay. Yeah, what's important anyway. These guys will both bleed. I can get both of them. Ooh, 
that's a bit, that's good. You dodge. Judgment doesn't give us light, let's uh, light things up by trying to stun you. Resisted the bleed though. Oh. Slice off a body part if you don't mind. Let's try to kill. Uh. So when he could kill him, and then the, that she could uh, weaken this guy enough to get him killed by the bleed, which that part will work out. Corrected. Or is it merely oh, I didn't even customize you anyway. Eh, he's okay. We'd rather him have Battle Ballad and Inspiring Tune instead of Finale and Dirk Stab, I think. It's hard to say though. They changed the gesture, so. He's a little bit harder to use than he used to be. Alright, found our ring battle. Ready in this guy's existence. Slice off him. And in this guy's existence. One point short. He's dead now, though. Ooh, that's a high damage attack. Okay. It's not a bad shuffle, though. We gotta start healing, I think. I don't know, though. You also kind of have to kill this guy. Press disadvantage. Give them no quarter. You're dead. Probably try to cheese this guy a little bit for health. I think he's considered a champion because he takes up two spaces. You can actually heal yourself too. Let's do that. Fortunately, he can't really hit. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Okay, well, we can't really cheese this guy because he has uh, group stress. Actually, you can't hit this guy. I forgot that he's a two space unit. Likely stunned, but we got it off anyway. Spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. We got him good. We didn't give her her if it bleeds either. Try to get to our vestal. Heal. Oh, I thought you were dead. Alright, that was a good dodge. He's gonna die this time. Yeah. 
monstrous size has no intrinsic merit unless right. inordinate exsanguination be considered a steam virgin. fountain it's the same as the other one i think it is yeah don't even need to use the app the spreadsheet's actually a little bit easier to read i stress pretty much on you this is what you'd bring the holy water for the only thing that can use it though so it's like yeah it's not really not really necessary oh let's fix these abilities I don't make sure things are in the right order you have to click them in a certain way you rush retribution Heirlooms, gold, trinkets, and baubles. Oh, it already, it already takes the shovel. Blood. It didn't used to automatically take the shovel, and you'd find yourself accidentally digging through it with your bare hands. Tad bit early for a meal. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Tree anti venom. Finding the stuff is only the first test. It's all right. Now it must be carried home. Good dodge. Send me. Yeah, well, we know there has to be combat somewhere because it's not over yet. Be the last room. Alright, here we go. Combat. Oh, I'm not too worried about maggots other than the disease. Are they both dead? They should be both. Uh, they didn't get bled. Dodges. Kill. Back to the pit. The dodge, dude. Executed with a bit of a gamble, but I figured he should pull it off. As the fiend Don't normally like moving out of order, but it's okay. Oh, we have them in the wrong order anyway. The first two don't really matter that much. That's a lot of torches for this dungeon. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Okay, I'm glad I shaved my shovel. <laughs> Do it, dude. It's gonna be trapped. You got lucky that it wasn't trapped. And that's why you save your shovels, ladies and gentlemen. Now about a heavy dose of ectoplasm. A decisive pummeling. Good hit. Oh, buddy. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> the light. All right. The promise of safety. The oh, madman. Definitely want to iron swan that madman. Oh, oh that's bad. Yeah, we definitely want to slice her. <laughs> the bleed resists are pretty bad. I don't know if we care about the guard. Oh well. I'd rather kill the madman, but... I'd rather 
rather get one kill than no kills. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 that's why we have the bleed. Okay, I guess it's okay that we didn't defend, because otherwise that would have been a world of hurt. Taking three damage. Not get you into lethal. Not stun him. Make sure he can die. One HP really sucks, but uh, it sucks that you can't hit him either. He should be dead, though, at least. Accuser of things. Actually, that's okay as long as we can end this combat fairly quickly. Nice crit. Don't grope her. Kill, her kill him before the Hellion goes, that'd be really good. You can crush from the third slot, right? No, you cannot. You can Retribution from the third slot. This guy has a Rin the Marked attack, though. That are, we either stab him and mess up his turn. I think you stab him and mess your turn up. Chat around? Chat around. Alright, uh, despite how bad things seem like they are getting, that went okay. <laughs> the agents of Pestilence will yet be driven from our woods. Alright. <clears throat> Try to get another quick mission in here before the end of the video. Water, bleed resist, healing skills. None of that is very good. But that's okay. A wash in blood and delusion. He bears the burden of a thousand lifetimes. <clears throat> blood scourge. There are some who believe that only a litany of blood and suffering can cleanse sickness in the land. Here is one who will do his part. Alright, who... It is our grave robbers like really bad? Yeah, even though I'd like to get rid of our doubles too. Eh, maybe get rid of the second jester. Sammy Adassi. Let's try to keep your name in mind here. Send this one to journey elsewhere. For we have need of sterner stock. Alright. This person seems fine. Sammy Adassi. Okay. What have we got? We've got a leper, a highwayman, and an antiquarian. I really like the leper. I think we maybe get rid of Brushy McKean. And replace him with a, a leper. I can 
increase the roster size. Great so heroes it. can be found even here, in the mud and rain. All right. Pull up my list here. Oops. All right. Donk thug. Okay. Next mission. Ideally, another short one, which is going to be either the Cove or the Warrens. Sater 5 protection, upper healing received. Both are pretty good, especially now that we have the lever. Okay, the cove. Blight and anything that can go through protection. Anything that's strong against Eldritch. Stun and protection are okay. Alright, well, that should be Genoa here. Should come with us. Though I do want to get rid of your perfectionist. Versus Eldritch. That's someone we just picked up was actually good against Eldritch. You. And your bleed though, and bleed's bad in this zone. Grave robber, technically. It's pretty bad stuff, though. She's really reliant on moving around now. She didn't used to be. Bad healer. Probably take her in. Maybe Wayne or Wine. I don't know, we might be able to make her work. Let's try. So that's our team. Since that's who we're taking, we might as well see who like the highest level orc what we can remove is. Or lock one in. Natural is no longer useful now that we actually have trinkets. Here versus Eldritch. How much of a tight? Oh, 4,000, yeah. Honestly, I think you'd think about it here. I use the heck out of the sanitarium. I know some people are like, no, the sanitarium. Literally just throw characters away constantly. Never use the sanitarium or Abbey or Tavern ever. It's like, that's not. I don't like it. <laughs> so now, activity, people who are going out. Start with the better characters. You are good. You're the defense mode version, you are good. Now you... Like, this is actually a bit of a party that is okay at moving around. Have to make it blind. Uh, 
Asgard. She's actually really strong for fighting in the cove. So this is all stuff that the cove monsters are are weak against. Like they guard all the time. They're weak to blight. They expose I'm not too worried about. So we should get something to replace expose at least. Maybe puncture. It's not something I normally go at, grab, but it, like I said, I think that actually is pretty good for the cove. She can use it from anywhere too, which is pretty good. And Brushy McGean. Poison darts, definitely. Lunge and then poison darts, thrown dagger, shadow fade. That's pretty good. Like I'm actually fairly confident in this party here. It's slightly unconventional and it doesn't have a name. Alright, so the cove. I don't know if I'm going to use the app anymore, actually. Oh, the Grave Robber gives us a shovel. Going to bring... three shovels. It's a short mission. Oops, so eight food should be enough. Uh, herbs are pretty good here. Bandages and holy water. Grab a key. I'll grab a holy water. Eight torches. We should be good enough. I'm a little risky. I don't take items to heal my characters. Like bandages and anti venom to get rid of uh, status effects. These salt soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. They must be flushed out. This is a simple layout. But yeah, I don't take them. Okay, this is not really the type of units that we were prepared for. <laughs> it's fine. These two are going to synergize pretty well. You do extra damage against marked or blighted. Send them. Oh, buddy. And we don't have to worry about her melee as long as we don't do use of the lunge attack. This time you just. Oh my god. Is this like actually like are the best team ever invented? What the hell? Wow. Okay. Um, I can't say this is how I expected things to go. See you in hell? Almost. Uh, you can't do anything in the back. Okay, that's... Oh, that sucks. See you now. So, would we actually like you two mixed up here? What can't you do in the back? Can't shadow fade. Honestly, that seems okay. Uh. This. Okay. Trap kind of sucks. 
cruel machinations spring to life with a singular purpose. Not a ton of damage, but that dodge. Might have to use protection here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Laugh it out, laugh it out. Anyway, I was trying to say is this team might be freaking crazy overpowered. Wait, didn't we just scout this and there was no combat here? Losing my mind? Is that your guard? No, that's the extra damage. The jellyfish are really bad. Yeah, they stun you and stuff. You're dead, right? He's dead, okay. These things don't really bleed. We can't poison the front. See, so you don't have a boost to defense, so I think we want to focus this one down because it's buffed. It might not matter. Oh wow, we actually did get the bleed on. I didn't. No, I did put these things on. No, I didn't put trinkets on everyone. You get to go again. See you in hell. <laughs> oh. Get you blighted. Oh, you resisted. Might be a good adder's kiss situation, because he's good. Oh, you have armor piercing. Does armor piercing mean you ignore protection? I think so. This will also do 5 to 10 damage and put a 3 point bleed on. That should mean he'll be dead as long as it hits. <laughs> Didn't hit. Slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Alright, got one more on me. Don't disease him at least. He didn't disease him. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. It's a decent bit of bleeding, though. I thought there was no combat in this hallway, but apparently I was quite mistaken. She was like, the darkness, perfect for ambushes. Don't have a... Okay, we have three shovels. We can get this. I just remembered this one, and I have to look it up. Launch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Okay, we're about to fight. We should be okay. This guy has to die as fast as possible, otherwise he will explode. Even though I hate this guy quite a bit, and this guy can do pretty good damage. So you don't have protection, right? Doesn't say you do, but I do have the character who ignores protection anyway. Five to nine, ninety percent. Five to ten. I think you do this. It's more damage. Whoa, okay, he's just dead. Or you could just kill him, and it could just like not matter at all. We don't have a healer, so it might be better to kill this guy instead of him. This guy always scares me quite a bit, though. I might be able to kill this guy this turn. As long as you roll decent. He hasn't been rolling very good, though. Oh, there, oh, there we go. He's like, I'll show you that I can't don't roll very good. Poison him. Let's 
resisted. Five to nine damage. Press this advantage. My God. <laughs> this team. Like the man in arms isn't even really pulling his weight, and this team is like absolutely dominant. You grave robber. I did kind of customize this team specifically for the cove, so like they might not be good in the other areas. This could be pretty bad. These guys can stun, this guy can guard. But particularly if he guards this guy, I'm in big trouble. But of course, if I crit, then it's not really as troubling. I need to get your poison attack for the front. I just want this guy dead. He is dead because he bled even though he's not supposed to bleed. Okay. Now I'd like to take out the back row. We might even do guard tactics this time. I think you start blighting this guy. Good dodge. Good death. It's alright, we're already taking you down first anyway. Wasn't actually my intent, but it's fine. One thing this party can't do is really heal. Puncture ignores guard, breaks guard, bypasses guard. Three to five. Eh, I think you focus this guy down. One to one damage, that will not kill you. That ought to kill you though. Oh yeah, we actually do have bandages. Go ahead and use it. Doesn't really matter which one at this point. Oh my god! <laughs> Plague Doctor. You're not supposed to be a damage dealer, buddy. Ah, he finally got diseased. I was worried about that. Smack. Death. As victories mount, so too will resist. You're in a bad place. I've not been using disorienting blast. I might want to turn on battlefield medicine actually. I don't think we're likely to find a secret room, except we just scouted, so we might. That's a lot of fighting. Oops. And that's more fights than I expected, so now I'm a little bit less confident in this party. Oh, jeez. I think you've got to heal yourself, unfortunately. It's just a little bit too much combat for a party with no healer. Back to 
10. Send them to hell. <laughs> uh. Ugh. I actually might want to start worrying about health more than stress at this point. Missed you anyway? dead. Now I don't think you can do your stress attack now that you're up front. Worried about you surviving this? You know what? Oh, nice crit. I don't think you have any healing ability, but... These tokens, they absorb 100% of damage. A trifling protection. A Honestly, I might throw the protection on you real quick. You know, you by default have higher protection. Maybe you give it to this guy, and then you defend him. Her. Another mariner. Another okay, this is great. This thing purges negative corks. Oh, you're actually less accurate when people are blighted. That's not really good with this combo. Oh, I want to get rid of your perfectionist, but it's not super likely to happen. You're also... Uh, she has the highest chance of getting rid of something that actually matters. Like, getting rid of perfectionists on her would be the best. But she has four quirks already, so it's not really likely. It's a one in four chance of hitting the right one. Two room combat, it's so rough. How many of you can hit the back? You can hit the back. You can't. You can. Unfortunate that you can already go. Don't let that be your protection. Okay, that's not too bad because this thing doesn't do much damage. It does disease and stuff. Which isn't great either, but... Okay, you're dead. And when you get five damage and then you'll die. Send them. And then... You could kill this thing in one hit. Heck yeah. Okay, that was pretty quick combat because we got three things killed in one turn. You can heal, though, actually, so it might not be guaranteed. I don't think it pulls the plague off of you, though. Send them. Stress heals are always great. Incision. Oh. Or bleeding people who shouldn't even bleed. All of a sudden, we're losing because we missed. keep her alive. That's fine, you have really high protection right now. No one's bleeding, so you're, you're... Oh my god, this Plague Doctor is insane! You have bonuses to crit? Like, what's going on? Has a 2% chance to crit, and he's a critted on, like, every single attack. Think you're dead? No, not quite, unfortunately. See you now. The blood quickens. Ooh, stone. 
Might as well put it on someone. Probably on you. Hit grave robber. Rackish tide pool. Anti venom heals and cures stress. I'm very worried about you. Or cures stress is what I meant to say, not and. That's why we kept our food instead of eating it to, for HP. May we find victory. Let's see, is there a curio in here? There is a curio. Alright. Not sure how I feel about this particular set of targets. I'll tell you later on once we're a little bit more further through. Resisting the blight is pretty bad for us. Hitting her down to four is pretty bad. Stressing them out is not good. Oh my gosh. This Plague Doctor is absolutely insane. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the wrong guy to protect, brother. You wanted to win this fight, it's not who you protect. Decision. I should have replaced that with the other. Except he's been critting constantly, so I guess it doesn't really matter. There you go. Finally didn't crit, but he did bleed something he's not supposed to bleed. Again. Again, HP is a little. A little spicy. He's uh. be dead. Not quite. We don't really want her to get onto death's door because it'll mess up her stress, but it's okay. Extremely low health run, but... You are dead. Go through the block. Send him to heck. And then try to kill this boy before he can do anything else. 7 to 13 damage. Send him. Made a terrible mistake. Alright, we're fine. <laughs> wow, that was very close on the health front. Other than the health, it went very well. But yeah, this party needs it either needs a occultist or healer. Probably in place of the men at arms. I don't think he is pulling his weight here. Packs laden with loot okay. are often Send me home. Supplies. Send me home, country roads. The leper can get better heals now though. For a time. And full of money. That is... Oh, you do more damage, but eh. If this was on a leper, I'd be like, that's an awesome negative quirk, bro. But no, this is on a guy who we want to have high dodge because he's going to be... Hard skinned is amazing for you, though. Like, that's actually, like, the best trait I've seen ever on a, uh... That character. <laughs> Man-at-arms? Yeah, whatever. We're not using your melee skills other than lunge, but it is what it is. It's fun. It doesn't really matter. We have to lock in. Irritant with the sum. A sanguine memory to me. 
This is going to happen every turn until we take care of the courtyard, by the way. Except when we trigger our own events. Other events will make that not appear. Okay, 110%. You send him in, and you go, you lock in hard skinned. I don't care that it costs 5,000 gold. That is the best thing that could ever be on that hero. <laughs> like, you guys have no idea. All right. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If it did, hit the like button. Keep the conversation going on the comments, and subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time, I hope you have a good day.